I get such a kick, really, Jessica. I get such a joy of um, being able to kind of hear the backstory, to be able to hear the narrative of the person I get to talk to, right? Because it helps me frame the conversation when I'm talking to folks. Take a, a minute or two. I'll give you up to three, How's that? I'll give you up to three minutes. Kind of talk a little bit about who is Jessica, um, what's the journey that Jessica's been on, and what is Jessica doing today? Okay, well, first of all, thanks for having me, and thanks to the listeners for taking out the time to listen to me. Um, so, Jessica is a mom of two teenage girls, so that in itself is a huge job. Um, the road in the path has been quite rocky, but I started the entrepreneurial journey with my business called Virtually Productive, and it's a virtual assistant business support services business. And in doing so, I met a lot of entrepreneurs who actually were missing out on so much because they didn't, there's so much they did not know that they didn't know about business. So then that's where um, the Newpreneur Coaching Program was born. You know, what I like about Jessica is that um, you have a heart to give, you have a heart to serve. You talk about what you're doing and helping business owners and being a mom, congratulations on all you're doing in the world. What does success look like for you? Because we're going to get going in a few minutes, but what does success look like for Jessica? Um, I've learned, you know, mindset is very important when you're an entrepreneur. So to me, success is being better than I was the day before. And how does one get better the day before? How do you get better each and every day? Constantly learning, self-improvement, reading, um, being around like-minded individuals. Ah, oh, man, that is so true. That is so true. Just being around. And here's, here's what I want you to know. I want you to know you're amazing. For everyone that's joining, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, Calvin. Welcome, Kelly. Welcome, all of you who are tuning in. I'm getting the green light. Yeah! She's like, yes, yeah, Shay. It's okay. She's doing a good job. She's like, oh, finally, we're breaking the ice, Shay. Yes, we are. They're giving me the signal that we got to get going. So we're going to get going in five, four, three, two, one. Take it away. Please go ahead and give a big standing check, ovation check, 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 for check. the one and the only Shay. Every morning in Africa, a gazelle wakes up and it knows it must outrun the fastest lion or be killed and eaten. Also, every morning in Africa, a lion wakes up and knows it must outrun the slowest gazelle or it will starve to death. You've heard it before. It doesn't matter whether you're a lion or a gazelle. When the sun comes up, you better be what? You better be running. That's right. That's right. You better be running. Life is about meaning and meaning is about service. Isn't that the reason why we're all here? Isn't that what we're all searching for? 2013, the Peak Performance Institute was created. 5,000 clients who we've helped turn their idea into a reality, their reality into a business, their business into a movement, impacting 5.7 million lives around the world. Imagine that. My name is Shay Brown, the Happy Entrepreneur, and welcome to the Happy Entrepreneur Network, the world's largest organization for the well-being of an entrepreneur. And as we always say, our mission at the Happy Entrepreneur Network, our mission is to inspire, empower, and provide resources for the entrepreneur to live a balanced life and execute their vision for the people they were called to serve. And our mantra. You know, I love our belief. Everyone should have a belief statement. Our belief is the results that show up in your life are just as important as the results that show up in your bank account. With that being said, let's get started. Well, it's a great day. My name is Shay Brown, the happy entrepreneur, and welcome to the number one business development and revenue focused late night show in the country, the Happy Entrepreneur Show, where we have a mission, and our mission is really to inspire, it's to empower, and it's really to give you the resources you need to execute the vision for the people you were called to serve. And at the end of the day, isn't that what it's all about? Making sure you serve others. I'm here with the one and the only, the fabulous, the newpreneur herself, none other than Jessica Muse. What's up, Jessica? Hi, thanks for having me. Ah, thanks for being here. It is such an honor and a privilege, and it's a treat and a treasure. If you're talking to someone that's less than like 20 miles away, by the way, which is super incredible. We're here in Washington, D.C. She's right around the corner in Bethesda, but I couldn't think of a better place to be than where we are right now 
in this present moment. I want to welcome D. Bowden who's out there. What's up, D. Bowden? Deborah Gardner, that's my buddy out in Phoenix, Arizona. Jessica, you got to connect with Deborah Gardner. She's a rock star. And I'll Rakesha Pittman. Huh? I'll be out there next month. You'll be out there next month. I'll be out there next week. Oh, man. You got to Google Deborah Gardner. She has this fantastic book called Swim in the, uh, sorry, Compete in the Fast Lane. Compete in the Fast Lane. That means you get in there and you compete with the best of the best. I hope that's the title of her book. I might have messed that up. Thanks a lot for joining, Jessica. And you as well, Deborah. Now, Jessica, let's get going. Um, we like to start off with a segment called Today is My January 1st. And January 1st represents that pivotal moment in our life where we had to make a decision and we could either move forward and get started doing something that would change the trajectory of our life or we could step back and we could stay where we are. And sometimes it's in our relationships. Sometimes a pivotal moment, should I go to the gym? Should I not go to the gym? But for you, they've got to be wondering, what was the January 1st moment for you? What was that pivotal moment that you said, I'm going to be an entrepreneur and I'm going to make it no matter what. Take us to that point. Tell us the backstory. Lead us there. Okay. Um, so I had a job. I had a great employer. I always excelled um, in all my positions. But at the end of the day, I was fulfilling someone else's dream and not my own. So one day I woke up and said, I'm going to figure this out. I gave my one month resignation and I jumped all in, and I'm a single mom of two teenagers. I don't come from a rich family. This was it. It was sink or swim. Right. And some people hear that story, sink or swim. I've got to make it happen. Um, what were the three things that you did to even get started? I mean, first, I admire you for having the courage to step out there and say, I'm going to do this. But in that moment, that January 1 moment, what were things you did to get started to be an entrepreneur so that you could remain an entrepreneur? Okay. Um, I read tons of books, tons of books. Um, if I didn't have time to read, I would do a podcast, a business podcast or an audio book. Um, I told myself I would network once a week, but it's not traditional networking. It's basically building relationships. If you go to just a business card transaction, people aren't going to remember you. They're going to remember that you sat there and listened to them, um, the relationship you built. And then you touch base after the fact. They're like, hey, oh, yeah, remember me? We talked about this. Oh, how's your kid's soccer game? And then you connect later on. It's not just a transaction. Um, and the last thing I did, the third thing, was hire great coaches. Wow. So this was a part along of your journey. And I know one thing we're going to talk about is how to catapult your business and really move forward and get ahead of that learning curve but as you're looking back now, the newpreneur, and you're talking to someone out there today that says, I need to get started now, T tonight, this morning, this afternoon, whenever they're hearing this message, this is their January 1. What would you advise that person to do just to get started? I would suggest don't wait for perfection. You jump right in, you launch, you tweak, you listen to your clients, and you Tweak and change and learn as you go. Jump right in. There'll never be a perfect time. There's never a good time. You just have to jump in and do it. Yeah. And, and was there ever a, a time you could share with us where you didn't do what you just said you were supposed to do? <laughs> where you wish you had jumped in, where you sat on the sidelines and said, okay, I'm going to do it, but it's got to be perfect. I got to do it, but it's got to be just right. Where was the time that took place for you and your business? Um, I think with little things like the logo. Oh, I can't launch yet because the logo isn't ready. Oh, I'm missing a page on my website. I can't launch yet. None of it matters because no one's going to, you have to drive people to your website. You have to drive people to see your logo. They're not just going to appear. So you have to start building the relationships, the networks, the reading, the learning before that. Yeah. And everyone is out there right now, like uh, Misha, who's watching. Chrissy Anderson said, what's up? Raymond London is in the house. They're watching right now. I want you to know you're doing a great job. Jessica right now is expanding her comfort zone. She's like, no, no, I'm out there. Jessica, you look fine. Jessica, you're doing great so far. Look, Jessica, um, for the person that has to overcome their fears, for the person right now that's thinking, I'm still a little nervous right now, what do you say to them? You will always be nervous. You will always be nervous. It never goes away. If you're inside your comfort zone, you're not growing. So you should be nervous. <laughs> I would agree. Are you nervous now? And what are you thinking right now in your head? 
I am so nervous right now, and we're live, so I can't mess up. <laughs> right? No, see, don't worry about messing up. Everyone is out there right now. Just do me a favor. Look right below the video. Look right below the video. And this is right, Jessica. You're doing a great job, <laughs> Jessica. It's okay. <laughs> She's so worried about messing up. Just let her know, Jessica, you're doing awesome right now. One of the ways that Jessica and I met is she sent me a message. And we had a conversation. She said, hey, Shay, this is relationship building. And I'm asking her what was her technique. And she sent a note and said, I've got something to share. And I can help other folks that are just like me. And, and, and I said, okay, tell me how. And she shared it. And I was like, you know what? That makes a lot of sense. And it does. When we come back, I'm going to ask her, you know, what does newpreneur even mean? Um, where did that word come from? In fact, Jessica, before we go to commercial, don't tell me to go to commercial, but don't worry about these folks. When you hear the word newpreneur, what's up, Ladija White out in Atlanta? You got you bring out you bring out the all-stars, by the way. What's up, Annette Abraham Brooks? Oh my gosh, they're in the house. Newpreneur. She's like, yeah, shit, I got it, I got it. Newpreneur. Um, where did that come from? What's the thought process behind it? And what is the mission of the newpreneur today? Um, so the newpreneur, I, in my head, it's a new entrepreneur. Um, it could be, and I'm totally making this up, uh, zero to three years into their business. Um, all the tools I have can help any entrepreneur, but to really catapult, it's the zero to three or just about to get started businesses. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and why did you why did you decide to focus on that group right there? Um, because every business should have a niche. I can help many, but the zero to three, I feel like a lot of coaches, business coaches focus on getting um, entrepreneurs from six to seven figures, but no one helps them get from five to six or even to five. Yeah. Yeah, that, that is so true. And we come back, we're going to walk through the step one. We're going to go through step three, and you're going to learn directly how you can catapult your business. And I, I, I beg to differ and say, look, whether you're new business and you're very green or you're a seasoned professional, I promise you it'll be a good use of your time. I promise you you'll get one idea that you can use immediately that's going to help you. We're talking about what really drives growth, what really helps you catapult your business. We'll be back in a moment with none other than the one and the only, the newpreneur herself, Jessica Muse. And I can't wait. We'll be back. Let's take it away. Let me ask you a question. Are you ready to take your businesses, your life, and everything that you have to an entirely different level? Yes or yes? Yes, yes. Are you sick and tired of being sick and tired? Are you ready right now to change the legacy of your last name? Yes or yes? Yes, yes. Put your mask on, it's protection. You're unprotected right now. At the beginning, I had no one to help me. I decided I was gonna become the woman that I needed the most. She got pregnant at 17, had her son at 18 years old, and now she just, her business, just hit six figures, six. Who did that help just to give you some confidence, a little? In what I know, then what I do. D plus D equals D. See, a decision plus discipline equals to me. Your decision to be here today does not equal your success. Because you got in business really for two reasons, two reasons only. One of the main reasons you got in business what? To make what? And that's one reason. That's one reason. And you knew that you wanted all eyes on you while you were out there making a difference, changing lives, and making a dollar at the same time. Well, it's a great day. My name is Shay Brown, the happy entrepreneur, and welcome to the number one business development and revenue-focused late-night show in the country, the happy entrepreneur entrepreneur show where our mission is to inspire our mission is to empower and our mission is to give busy entrepreneurs the resources hear me hear me necessary to execute the vision 
for the people you were called to serve. And that's why Jessica Muse showed up today. That's why she's here to give you the resources that you need. Jessica is out there right now. And I see you, Vivian Wilsley. Thanks for joining. Daryl Johnson, it's always a pleasure. Deanna Brown, hi back to you as well. Clark Garrison, my man, good frat brother down in Atlanta, Georgia in the house. Thank you so much for joining. Do me a favor, everyone look right below the video. Look right below the video and just write these words. It's my time. Hashtag get it done. Just look right below the video. Look right below the video and put it's my time. Hashtag get it done. Now, I'm going to ask Jessica right now. The question has got to be on everybody's hand is what's the biggest challenge facing entrepreneurs today that she's helping them with? So, Jessica, tell us about that. Um, there's quite a few, but okay. we'll start with um, becoming an industry expert. No one's going to put you on the map. You have to put yourself on the map. Um, you have to write a book. You have to uh, go after all the public PR that you can because PR is free advertisement. You don't want to pay, especially in the beginning, for any advertisement. Um, you want to be on social media constantly and you're responding when people ask questions in groups about business. You're always giving and giving. You have to give before you can get. I agree with you. And one of the things we believe in here is we believe in the giver's economy. The person that out gives the competition out earns the competition. Break that down and talk about the importance of being able to give. You gave us a sneak preview, but share maybe how your company gives back, how your company develops its own content to share with other folks. Y'all listen to none other than Jessica Muse, and Jessica Muse works with new newpreneurs. But I'm here to share with you myself. I've learned so much in the conversations that we've had. You too can take one idea and walk away with it. But Jessica, talk about the importance of giving. Some folks think, I don't need to give all my stuff away. Um, they, if they get it all the way, then I don't have nothing else to give them. Talk about changing that mentality, if you would. Um, by giving, that doesn't necessarily mean it's a monetary uh, value. You can be on a board of a, uh, you know, any group, any, you can give, for example, like I'm doing a course and I'm going to give as a scholarship a teenage girl a free admission to my course. So I'm not necessarily giving with a monetary value. You can give in other ways. Yeah. How, 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 how true is that? One of the things I admire about you is I admire about you, your courage to reach out there. Clark Garrison says, hashtag get it done. Byron Williams says, hashtag get it done. Chrissy Anderson said, it's my time. Indeed it is. What's going on, Ursula? You're at the right place. You know, one of the things that you talk about is the challenges facing entrepreneurs today in developing their content. Um, can you share maybe one, two, or three ideas for the person that they can do in order to develop content so they can push it out at no cost? Sure. Um, content doesn't necessarily have to be something you're, you know, you're not reinventing the wheel. So a lot of times you can just say, oh, the five best things to do in whatever industry is, or the five best things not to do in your industry, um, or switch something up from the news. Let's say there's something going on in the news and just put a twist on it. Mm. You know, you know, you, one of the things you also help folks with that is so important that I, I want to make sure they're aware of. You help folks that build teams. And I know you had virtually product, pro, virtually productivity. Productive. Is that right? Virtually productive. Virtually productive. Mm -hmm. Virtually productive. Now, she helps entrepreneurs formulate teams and have the resources necessary. Take a moment, if you would, and talk about the importance of a team and what type of individual should be on your team as an entrepreneur. Okay, so I think everyone's team will consist of different players. It depends what the entrepreneur's strengths are. You should only be working on your strengths, not your weaknesses. If your strength is in the uh, creativity, social media world, then outsource everything else. Outsource the bookkeeping. Outsource the... Google Analytics, um, just so you should basically make a list, things you like to do, things you don't like to do, things you're good at, things you're not good at. If yeah. you're not good at it, you don't like to do it, don't do it. Yeah, so true, and you're, you're being overly generous. She's being really humble and really nice, you guys. Talk about hiring a virtual assistant first. One of the things they don't know about you at virtual virtually productive is that you actually connect and bring virtual assistants together. You bring graphics people together. You bring tech individuals together. You bring bookkeepers together. I mean, you, you are that company that really opens the door and lets folks serve others to help them. And as they're listening right now, whether they're new or seasoned 
Uh, one of the questions that always have been on my mind that you answer for me, but I want you to answer for everyone else is, what are one, two, or three things that someone should look for when they're bringing on a good assistant and typically a virtual assistant? Um, you definitely, there needs to be trust. All of my employees are here in the U.S. Um, I don't feel comfortable putting my name on someone that's not in the U.S. because you know, I'm insured. There's lots of laws and regulations that don't apply to other state uh, countries. So definitely trust is a big thing. Communication is huge. We can't read your mind. You have to tell us what you want and what you need, how often you want to feedback. So communication is super important. Um, but that's what we have the onboarding for because we ask you guys, you know, how long, how often do you want to hear from us? Um, you know, is it once a week, once every other week? So communication is huge. Yeah, that's that's true. Now, break down the skill set because we, you're talking to some folks. I get it out there who are um, new and that and that was perfect. But then there's also folks out there. that are very seasoned professionals and they're probably wondering, OK, well, what skill sets should I look for in them? Because sometimes or what interview questions that you do but it's behind the scenes when you're trying to bring on the right person in your in your organization? You know, what I mean, um, do you mind sharing one or two more ideas for that person? Because if they're watching right now. They might be thinking, hey, I need to connect with you, obviously, at Virtually Productive. Um, but they also might be thinking, God, how can I walk away with an idea? I see my good friend uh, Gianna's out there said hashtag virtually productive. She loves that, by the way. Hashtag virtually productive linda reese i see in the house all the way from ohio gina bell what's going on you're in you're right around the corner she's in bethesda you're in rockville y'all probably neighbors man y'all might shop at the same grocery store <laughs> sacconi prince it's a pleasure all right take it away um take a little more of that virtual assistant like okay when you're interviewing them what questions should you ask can we just pick your brain for just a moment and um help us understand how we select that right person Sure. Um, so it depends if you go through a company or you hire an individual freelancer. Um, All right, you we'll, give us, well, give us both. Give us one going through a company and then one okay. going through a, a freelance advisor because she does some wonderful stuff. And if you're a newpreneur, this is going to help you. And all my seasoned folks, this is going to help you as well. Yes. Um, so either way, you want them to be insured because if anything goes wrong, you need to be covered. And it's usually an errors and omissions insurance or some sort of liability insurance. Um, if you're going directly to an individual, I would ask um, for references for their other clients, people they've worked with. Normally, if you go through a company, the company's already done that. Um, same with background checks, especially bookkeeping and passwords and finances. Definitely either the company you're going through should have done a background check or you need to do your own for your own safety. Right. And what do you what do you what do you we say to the person that's had a bad experience one time <laughs> trying to trying to go through a company? What would you say to that person right now? Um, I would say when you fall, you have to get back up. I mean, not everyone's the same. That's like you know, you buy a car and something's wrong with it. Are you gonna never buy a car again? Just, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I like that. I like that. I like that. That's that's perfect. That's that's perfect. Honest answer. <laughs> Get back up and try again. And I know I failed many times trying to bring on the right person. And I love your suggestion. I love the advice you give. With that being said, everyone, we're going to go right over to none other than the one and only. We're going to take a commercial. Go over to Kim Warren Martin. Kim Warren Martin is down in Little Rock, Arkansas. And Kim Warren Martin talks about success is an inside job. We'll be back in just a moment with Jessica Muse. And she's talking about really how to catapult your business, how to get ahead of that learning curve. Newpreneur in the house. We'll be back in just a a moment. How about this amazing day, happy entrepreneurs? It's your January 1st, and you guys rock. This is Dr. Kim Warren Martin, founder of Successful and Fulfilled, with part five of a seven part series on the thought that success is an inside job. If you miss parts one through four, don't worry, just go on over to the Happy Entrepreneur Tribe Facebook group and check out the videos there. So today, let's talk about what's going on with you socially. How are your relationships uh, on a personal level uh, with your family, your friends, your spouse, significant other, and importantly, with yourself? And professionally, how are your relationships with clients, business partners, employees, and vendors, and so on? Are they healthy or unhealthy? Are they better in some areas than others? I believe life is all about relationships and building healthy relationships offers mutual benefits that can be profitable in many, many ways. So here's a simple three-step exercise to begin to determine the health of your relationships. Step one, 
Make a list of the relationships that are top of mind for you and then rate them on a scale of one to five where one is unhealthy and five is thriving. Step two, for any relationships you rated three or less, evaluate how they can be improved. Do you value those relationships? Are you valued in them? What can you and the other parties do to get them to a four or five? And step three, if you determine the relationships are not of value to you or the other parties, and you don't see how you can get it to a four or five, then look at how you can end the relationship and bring closure with dignity to both parties. Don't just disappear or go ghost. So that's a simple process to help evaluate your relationships on a regular basis. Remember this, whether personally or professionally, a healthy relationship doesn't drag you down, it inspires you to be better. This is Dr. Kim Warren Martin, founder of Successful and Fulfilled. See you next week for part six of Success is an Inside Job. Until then, make it a great day and a fabulous week. Back over to you, Shay. Well, it's a great day. My name is Shay Brown, the happy entrepreneur, and welcome to the number one business development and revenue-focused late-night show in the country, well, the Happy Entrepreneur Show, where we have a mission to provide you the resources necessary to execute the vision for the people you were called to serve, and then that what it's all about, serving other people, making a bigger difference, having more meaning in the world. Yeah, you're going to make the money, it's going to come. We're here with the one and only, none other than Jessica Muse, and Jessica Muse is here to help us move that learning curve, help us be able to shorten that cycle for the newpreneur and for the very seasoned agepreneur who always believes that they can always get better. Uh, Jessica, what is one of the things that you share with your clients as newpreneurs just to have the right mindset, to have the right belief systems? Um, what are some things you share with them? Because, you know, being an entrepreneur can be tough sometimes. That is the most important part is the mindset. Um, unfortunately, Many people in our inner circles are not entrepreneurs and everyone has an opinion and they don't know what they're talking about basically. Um, so you have to set boundaries. And I mean, my, my own experience is please, I, I don't want to talk about my business, literally like my business <laughs> with you because they just, I don't want them to plant the seeds, the negative, negative seeds or everyone's, they've never done it. They haven't been in my shoes. So I don't, really care to know their opinion <laughs> <laughs> very very well said and and what's a what's the affirmation you tell yourself um on a daily basis one of your favorite affirmations that kind of keep you going along this journey as being an entrepreneur there's nothing i can't do and there's nothing i cannot learn ah say that one more time a little slower i like that <laughs> there's nothing i can't do and there's nothing i cannot learn Everyone do me a favor. Everyone do me a favor. Whether you're a newpreneur or you're a seasonpreneur. Hey, you like that seasonpreneur. Look right below the video. Look right below the video and write that down. Say it one more time, Jessica. <laughs> now you're going to make me forget it. <laughs> <laughs> there's nothing I can't do and there's nothing I can't learn. There's nothing I can't do and there's nothing I can't learn. What's up, Edith Hall? There's nothing I can't do and there's nothing I can't learn. Hashtag Jessica Muse. This is a mindset. This is a belief system. One more time. There's nothing I can't what? Le do. do. And there's nothing I can't what? Learn. A little more power. There's nothing I can't do. And there's nothing I can't learn. So you got it. You got it. Someone look right below the video. Look right below the video. Next time you find yourself in a place and you're not sure whether you should do it or not do it, tell yourself, Jessica, what should they tell themselves? There's nothing I can't do and there's nothing I cannot learn. Why do you believe that to be so true? Why do you believe that so be so possible? And when was the time you was in a situation where you told yourself, I'm going to go learn this thing, dog it, no matter what? <laughs> Every day. What do you mean? <laughs> I mean, thank God for Google. Um, but even so, even as a business owner, if you're not good at, let's say, bookkeeping, you should still know how to do everything. You don't need to be the one that does it, but you can't really oversee someone. And if they're not doing something properly, you don't know. So you have to learn every aspect of your business. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm um, looking at Gina Brown. Jenna Brown, she put out there, I had a VA once. It didn't go well because I didn't ask the right upfront questions. But like Jessica said, you go back out there. You got to get back up and you got to give someone another opportunity. Um, when you're talking to newpreneurs, talk a little about what you suggest they do from a marketing perspective and how do they handle all the technology they got to deal with. There's, a, there's CRM systems, there's 
Infusionsoft and Active Campaign, and it can be overwhelmed with, with entrepreneurs and so many things. So my question to you is, when you're dealing with newpreneurs and seasonedpreneurs, talk about the importance of having a database, having a, a CRM system, and how to make sure that's like the right way to start off. Okay. Um, so in case you guys don't know, a customer relationship management software is a CRM. I suggest getting a free one. You don't need a paid subscription especially not in the beginning. Um, so what it is, is let's say you go to a networking event, you input, or you hire a VA to do it, you input everyone's business card, so their name, their email, any contact info, and you wanna write yourself notes of like, remind yourself who they are, how you met them, what you spoke about, and then set up a follow-up task. So if you wanna follow up with them in two days or a week, but you already have the notes, so you know, you can follow up, oh, how was your kid's soccer game? Oh, how was the Halloween party? Uh, how was your holiday? So you already have built that relationship. And every time you communicate with them, you log in, either your call, your email. That way you always know what you talk about and you build a relationship. Yeah, one of, one of the things that they haven't heard you say yet is that one of the mantras that I love that you have is that relationships build trust. Relationships build trust. I see them out there, out there right now. Annette Abrams Brooks put, there's nothing I can't do and nothing I can't learn. You can learn that CRM system. Jenna Brown put, there's nothing I cannot do and there's nothing I cannot learn. You can learn how to hire that VA. And yes, Jessica is one of the people that can help you do that. Edith Hall put, I need to hire a lawyer and a VA and a personal assistant. Well, there's nothing you can't do and there's nothing I can't learn. She put that down. Hashtag Jessica Muse, M-U-S-A. I see you out there. Byron, I see you said, hashtag Jessica Muse. Nothing I cannot learn and nothing I cannot do. This is so true. Talk about, just from a productivity perspective, um, maybe how folks can get organized. I mean, we're, we come back, we're going to do a deep dive into how to build trust, how to build trust. But talk about how they can get organized and be productive. I know there's there's different tools out there, right? You talked about that. Now, you and I were sharing that conversation. There's Mondays.com, which I love. I use that. There's Trello out there. There's there's a teamwork. There's this work. There's Asana. There's so many different stuff. There's so many apps that people can use. What does Jessica normally recommend to newpreneurs so they don't get overwhelmed and senior seniorpreneurs, seasonpreneurs who have to get in the game? Can I just say first, it's so empowering being around other like-minded people, just you mentioning all the hashtags. I'm sure everyone listening to you like felt that empowerment. Yeah, well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. That, 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 that really means a lot. They're out there for you. They're cheering for you. I told them you were nervous. And cheering they said, for them. <laughs> She's like, I'm so nervous, Shay. I'm so nervous. It's okay, Jessica. You're doing wonderful. But thank you so much. But they're out there. They're out there. Uh, Edith says, love your philosophy. There are some things I'm having a hard time learning, but I'm not going to give up. And Jessica's cheering for you. You're out there cheering for them. So talk to them a minute So about this overwhelm because so many folks get so many softwares and they get so many sponsored ads. What do you say to folks, the, the tool they should use to just be organized? Um, so organizing your social media is super important. So I'll start there. Um, I use uh, Hootsuite. So you can actually set up however far in advance you want your Facebook, your Instagram, however many accounts you have, you shouldn't have too many. And you could set out the whole month and you tell it what day and what time to post which post that you created. So you never have to touch it again. So that is super easy and super important for your social media. Um, Asana, it, I like Asana if you have a large group you're working with. Um, if it's just you, I don't. I wouldn't use it because it's just another task you're creating for yourself. Is inputting everything into Asana. Does that make sense? No, no. That makes that makes that makes a lot of sense. By the way, that makes that makes a lot of sense. By the way, and and I'm as you're out there listening. I'm thinking to myself, you're right. So that's why you're here to kind of share the ideas for myself because I have a full team and I have folks that work for us full time. I got to manage a lot of different tasks. So I'm trying to make sure I'm balancing the newpreneur and the seasonpreneur. And you're doing a great job, Gina. That's her name. Gina said Jessica is doing just fine right now. She's doing just fine. So they're out there cheering yeah. for you. <laughs> When we come back, <clears throat> I'm going to ask Jessica kind of kind of break it down and talk about relationships. And we thought we know relationships build trust, but how to build that trust 
in, in, in a market where there's so much noise going on, there's so much happening right now, but here's what I want you to know, that you can do it. If someone else has done it, so can you. I love what you said, Jessica. There's nothing I cannot do, and there's nothing I cannot learn. How powerful is that? We're going to go all the way down now to Letitia Nicole. She's down in Raleigh, North Carolina, here on the East Coast, and she says you have the authority and you have the power. We'll be back in just a moment with Jessica Muse, Building relationships. I mean, building relationships that lead to trust. We'll be back in just a moment. Okay. Hello, hello, hello. It's your girl, Letitia Nicole, CEO, founder of Speak Like Enterprises, where I teach powerful, amazing entrepreneurs like yourself how to speak positive words into the atmosphere, which shall not return to them void. Now, before I start with my thought of the week, I'm going to say today is my January the 1st, and I have to speak to the amazing Shay Brown. How you doing, Shay Brown? Thank you so much for allowing me to speak to this amazing group of entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs. So, with my thought of the week, listen to me. Now, all of you have authority over something. God is giving you something. Now, you got to listen to me. He has given you authority to trample over snakes and scorpions. Okay, y'all got to listen to me. Y'all got to listen to me and all the power of the enemy. Y'all, do you hear me? Do you hear me? Nothing can harm you. So why don't you, when you show up in your business, why don't you show up with the authority that you've been given? You've been given authority to get those contracts. You've been given authority to walk with your back straight and, and to call it and say what you want for your business. So take your authority. You've been given authority to trample over snakes and scorpions and you have power over them all, honey. I'm going to just tell you the truth. All right. And nothing can harm you. So stand up in your authority to run your business, all right? You guys, my name is Letitia Nicole, and I speak life so that we all may have life more abundantly. But until next time, walk in your authority, all right? Thank you. Well, it's a great day. My name is Shay Brown, the Happy Entrepreneur, and welcome to the Happy Entrepreneur Show the number one business development and revenue-focused late-night show in the country where we have one mission and one mission only, and that mission is to inspire. It is to empower and to give you, you the entrepreneur, you the single mom, you the married person, you the solopreneur, you the entrepreneur, to give you the resources that you need to execute that vision that you have for the people you were called to serve. And Jessica showed up this morning, this evening, this afternoon, whatever time it is for you, wherever you are in the world, to give you those resources. And Jessica, thanks a lot. How you feeling over there? I feel so great. And I'm so thankful for all, all your listeners taking time out of their busy day to listen to us. <laughs> well, they're here because they know they have the potential inside them to perform at a higher level. We appreciate every single one of you out there that are hitting the share button, that are hitting the interview button. Gina Bell, who's just a fantastic person. Again, she's in Rockville. Y'all got to make sure y'all, y'all, you both connect. She says, great interview, Jessica. You're doing good, by the way. Hang on in there. So great job, man. Keep doing what you're doing. Look, Jessica, there are folks out there that might be watching and they're thinking, that young lady got it all together. She says, well, she got teenage daughters. That's looking cool. She's helping all these solopreneurs. She's helping these newpreneurs. And she has this virtual company that, that really finds people to help folks that need resources in their business. And so they might think you have it together. And so we're going to do a segment right now called the Champion's Creed. And Jessica, for all the new folks that are watching, the Champion's Creed is where we cheer on another entrepreneur. We give a high five to someone else that's running the race. We're not in the race. We can have water to someone that's running this race. Think of being in a marathon. I run five marathons, and we're cheering them on and saying, you can do it, and you can do it, and you can do it. And in doing so, we're not talking about ourselves, but we're paying it forward to someone else. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to share something a mentor shared with me. It's called the Champion's Creed. I'm going to read that. And as I read that, I want you the entrepreneur and all in the happy entrepreneurs tribe, all my new folks and my seasoned folks, welcome back. Welcome back to all my favorite listeners. Look below the video and write these words. And I love putting these words. Write these words. You are a champion. Hashtag never give up. Yeah, never give up. Somebody might be thinking about giving up right now. They're doing really, really well and they're ready to sit down. No, no, no. You're going to encourage them. You're going to give them a high five. You're going to say, go, go, go. Look below the video. Look below the video and write these words. You are a champion. Hashtag 
Never give up. That's your give back. So let me put this up here in a moment. Jessica, my mentor told me to say this over 15 years ago, and it's helped me in good times and in bad times. And here are the words. Here are the words. The words go something like this. The happy entrepreneurs champions creed. I am not judged by the number of times I fail, but by the number of times I succeed. And the number of times I succeed is in direct proportion to the number of times I can fail and keep trying and keep trying and keep trying. As you hear those words right now, Jessica, hear those words, the champion's creed, and it's going through your head. Do you mind taking a moment just reading those words? I'll put them back up and then maybe being a little vulnerable, if you don't mind, sharing a time where things didn't go right for you. Um, something happened. And what was the lesson that you learned that you can share with us? Do you mind doing that? Can you do that? Is that okay? Absolutely. All right. Let's put up there. And everyone else out there, you look right below the video and you put you are a champion. Hashtag never give up. Dina Bell put you are a champion. Joyce put you are a champion. Annette put you are a champion. They said hashtag never give up. So let me go ahead and put it up. There you go. Can you read those words? Jessica, take it away. Okay. I'm not judged by the number of times I fail, but by the number of times I succeed. And the number of times I succeed is in direct proportion to the number of times I can fail and keep trying. And keep trying, Jessica. And she kind. We got to put the Puff Daddy remix version. Uh, the Sean, <laughs> we got to put the Jay-Z re remix version on it. You and Bethesda, you know a little something about that. It's the All remix right. version. Keep trying. Keep trying. Take a moment and tell us about a time where you had to be a champion and you had to keep on trying and keep on trying until you got it right. Um, I actually think it has a lot to do with relationships, actually, um, being um, around the right people. And I've had to put take people out of my life that weren't healthy for me and they weren't um, they weren't they didn't have my back. And really, it's not about you. It's about them. They're scared that you may outgrow them. And it has nothing to do with you. Um, normally, another entrepreneur would never tell you, don't do it. It's a bad idea. They're going to tell you, yes, they are your biggest cheerleaders. So that's why you should especially, as an entrepreneur, be around like-minded people. Yeah, yeah. So the answer is be around like-minded people because you are a champion. Say that after me again. Say, you are a champion. You are a champion. I love it. Do you believe you're a champion? Absolutely. And only other champions recognize it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. That's right. You're a champion. When we come back, we really got to get serious. We got to do a deep dive. We're going to talk about what it takes to really grow your business. Uh, we're going to talk about what it takes to really market your business. And we'll be back in just a moment with the one and the only Jessica Muse, who's just really a, a cool, kind human being. That's out there making a difference in the world, doing good for other entrepreneurs. And she's taking on the mission of being the new preneur. If you're a new preneur, zero to three years, that's the sweet spot. But if you're a seasoned person, I promise you this episode would help you as well. We're going to go over to Andrea Stuckley. She's out on the East Coast as well. We're on the East Coast right now. She's down in actually Richmond, Virginia. And she says it's time to clear your wins. We'll be back in just a minute. It's a great day. I'm Andrea M. Stuckey. I'm a life coach and the founder of Divorced Women Unite. Today is my January 1st. Once again, I am so excited to be sharing my thought of the week with you, the Happy Entrepreneurs Tribe. You guys are so amazing. So listen up. This week, I want to share my thought of the week, and that is clarity wins. That's right. Clarity wins. Because as an entrepreneur, when you are clear in business, you can focus on creating clear outcomes for your clients. Now, as the year is closing out, I challenge you to get clear on these three things. So listen up. Number one, you must have a clear message that demonstrates what you do and what you create. Number two. You must have a clear market. Who needs your product or service? And number three, you need a clear method of how to create the desired outcome for your clients. Remember, clarity wins. A clear message to a clear market where you have a clear method will make you and your clients winners. So again, I'm Andrea M. Stuckey. Connect with me at andreamstuckey.com. And until next time, remember, 
that clarity wins. Well, it's a great day. My name is Shay Brown, the happy entrepreneur and the host of the number one business development and revenue focused late night show in the country. Well, the happy entrepreneur show where our mission is to provide the resources that you need in your business to execute the vision for the people you were called to serve. We're here with none other than Jessica Muse. Hey, Jessica, say hey out there. Hi. Jessica Muse, who's out there right okay. now. The next part. <laughs> And she's ready. She says, I made it. I've survived. See, I told you, worst case scenarios, you'd fall on your face and they would laugh. That's the worst case scenario. Oh. <laughs> and the worst case scenario has not happened. Yeah. Not yet, but there's still time. But in all seriousness, um, take a take a moment if you can and, and tell us how your company works with other newpreneurs. Um, do that. Just take a moment and say, this is what we do. This is the problem that exists, Shay, and this is how we solve it. And then we're going to take a look and see how they can connect with you as well. Okay, great. Um, so right now there's one-on-one -on -one coaching, but I'm really focusing on the virtual workshops because that way I have a further reach and I can help more people. Um, so... Oh boy, there's so much to learn in entrepreneurship and really it's not fair for me not to share with you guys what I've learned throughout multiple coaches and tens of thousands of dollars. And I'm not the type of person, there's no fluff. A lot of coaches charge a lot. They give you great content and a lot of fluff. I'm, I'm going to teach you just what you need to learn, not like I'm not going to fluff it up. We yeah. don't have to for it. And, and, and just tell us, tell us, tell us one of the things that you teach and what they learn. Maybe one thing they'll learn when they work with you. I would say we'll go with affiliate marketing. Affiliate yeah. marketing. I like that. Affiliate marketing. Talk about yeah. that for a minute. I okay. Like that. Um, so basically, most of us probably can't afford to have salespeople. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. let's say I tell. I'm just going to use you as an example, Shay. Um, if you refer anyone to my virtual workshop, I'll give you 25 percent. Of the earnings so now automatically I have a built-in salesperson in you and I could do it with my neighbor and I could do it with anyone that's attends my virtual workshop or anyone on my Facebook all of a sudden I have tons of salespeople that I'm not necessarily paying I'm only paying if they refer someone to me does that make sense that makes a heck of a lot of sense by the way and for folks that says well wow, I'm a seasoned professional and an affiliate sounds great to me as well um, how do you recommend they manage that kind of stuff? Like, cause you know, you gotta, you gotta give them their marketing collateral and you've got to make sure that they have some sign on, I'm assuming something they link they give when they connect to other folks. Um, do you recommend a person does it themselves? Do you recommend, you know, like a pay kickstart or a lead dino or some software that someone can use in that setting? Talk about that for a moment. And then I'm going to take a look and see if we can find your page and some things you're doing. Okay, great. Um, so there are softwares for it. It will take a while for you to actually get that many. I mean, it's great if you could get that many in the beginning, but um, there is a software. I don't have a software because I just don't, I haven't put a lot of energy into it yet because um, I'm developing my virtual course, but there are links that you could track. And actually, if you go to most company websites, large companies, if you go to the bottom of their website, you will see something that says affiliate links. Even Amazon has it. When people put Amazon links on their website, they get a kickback from Amazon, a percentage of what was purchased off their link. Wow. That's, that, that, that's really cool. Now, do you have, um, let's say somebody wants to get in contact with you, right? And they're like, hey, I'm interested. I just want to have a conversation. I want to learn more about you. I want you to know about my company and the values that we have. Let's make sure our values align. And if it makes sense, and since maybe we can work together, um, if they want to find you, do you have a website? Do you have a way to reach you or how would they Absolutely. reach you? What's your website or something? Newpreneurcoaching.com. Oh, you said new what? Newpreneur. Coaching. Okay. So why don't we do this, everyone? Why don't we just have a little fun? Why don't we have a little fun? Let's go see if the website works. I, I always like to check these websites because my website somehow has not worked, by the way. It, 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 it's not a good thing or bad thing. And so if it doesn't work, she's going to tell you another way to contact her. We're going to yes. do that. All right. So let's see if they can bring that up for me over there. And if you can, they can probably still see you below. They probably can't see anything. Let me know. Can you see it? Can you see the see? I see her screen. You do. Okay. So spell the website we're going to again. N E W. Uh -huh. Oh, it came up. P R E N E U R coaching.com. So it's newpreneurcoaching.com. All right, here we are. 
Um, everyone go to the website. Let's make sure. Ooh, that's kind of cool there. Look at that. You got some cool stuff. Catapult your business, shortening the learning curve. Okay. Um, do I do to learn more? Yes. What? Learn more. Okay. Learn more. And so now I'm at the learn more page, which is cool. It's coming up. Grow your business faster. Newpreneur coaching. All right. Sound for me. So, oh, look at that. It's a picture of you. Money can't buy time, but it can help you shorten the learning curve. Oh, how true is that? So my question be to you, if they want to connect with you, I know, first I want you to do something special, right? So I believe in the giver's economy. So do something special for everybody watching. That's number one. And then number two behind that, uh, tell them a little bit about how they can connect with you to work with you. Um, do I click on questions? Where do I go uh, here? You can either go there or all the way at the bottom. There, Oh, there you go. Questions are at the bottom. It says contact. So you can either schedule a call with me right there oh, okay. um, you can send me a message either way oh it works oh this is cool look at, right. that. look at that so if i go back so for those folks out there that are listening right now you're thinking look i need to know more i need to know how we can customize some things for my business i think that's what you're saying and you could you could chat with them and maybe there's a workshop they can go into maybe they need to work with you um what will you do for the entrepreneurs that are watching right now will you do something special will you give us like something super duper for us folks that are watching Absolutely. Um, so you guys can either send me a message, schedule a call, um, Facebook, Instagram, anywhere, and I'll I'll find you. <laughs> um, so I'll offer 50% off my half-day virtual workshop if you guys tell me that you met me through Shay. I love it. So when they contact you, one of the things they got to mention is they met you through the Happy Entrepreneur Show or Shay is fine, and then that'll be the bat signal. Got yes, bat yes. Signal. That'll be the best signal is you get a super duper special rate. She said 50%. That's pretty cool, by the way. I didn't know she was going to do that, but I know it's that much. But that's, that's cool because we always want to give people the resources. So if they want to be helped, they can be helped. And that is so important. It's so important. They're watching right now, and they might be wondering, Jessica, what's your big why? Like, why are you doing this? You could be working somewhere. You could be enjoying life, yet you're here at the Happy Entrepreneur Show right now. Like, right, I'm here, got all ready to go today. So why does Jessica get up every single day and do what Jessica does? Um, I do it because I have two daughters, and I'm a single mom of two daughters. And if I can't teach them that they can't, there's, I mean, they can do anything in this world. If I can do it, anyone else can do it. Because I've had to start from the ground up multiple times throughout my life. Yeah. And you did it and you survived. I, I admire you for that. I admire you for the person that you are. We're coming down to home stretch, ladies and gentlemen. When we come back, we're going to do something called rapid fire. And rapid fire is we get to ask any question that we want. And she has a few, whatever pops in her mind, pops in her mind. And when she answers the question, then she's going to give her final thoughts, her final comments. We'll be back in just a moment. It's a great day. My name is Shay Brown, the founder of the Happy Entrepreneur Network and the host of the number one business development and revenue focused late night show in the country, the Happy Entrepreneur Show. And I'm super excited. I'm over the moon, just enjoyed to be able to share this special VIP invitation for you to join me at the closeconference.com. Just look right below the video, look right below the video and go to close conference.com an opportunity for you to attend virtually or in person now who is this for if you're an entrepreneur if you're a speaker if you're a coach if you're a network marketer if you're in the personal professional development or you're just someone right now that is overwhelmed and overworked and you need to generate some qualified leads of people who want to work with you whether they come from online leads or offline leads then you need to be there or maybe you're someone that wants to you know you say well Shay Right now, I have what's called yo-yo entrepreneur type of revenue, right? I have reasons, but no results. So it's time for you really to put together your own seven-figure revenue generating infrastructure so you can make more money without your labor. You can take back your time and you can take back your life. Then you want to be there. Or maybe you just want to be able to broadcast just like I'm doing right now. I'm at Broadcastpreneur Studios right here in this set right now. And you need to reach your audience online through the power of those fiber optic lines. Then you need to be at what? The closedconference.com. Or maybe it's just time for you to get all the resources you need in your business so you can serve the people you were called to serve and have more meaning in the world, have more impact in the world, and make a dollar and a difference at the same time. If that's you, look right below the video, look right below the video, and go to Close 
www.thegreatconference.com. I promise you, you'll learn about how to generate unlimited sponsorships. You'll learn about how to tell your story and have more impact. And more importantly, more importantly, you're going to have more success, more joy, and more happiness in your business. I'm so excited. Look, join me at closedconference.com. Share this with all your friends. I'm looking forward to seeing you. My promise to you is it'll be a good use of your time. My promise to you is that you're going to generate more revenue than you've ever generated before in your life and have more happiness. With that being said, my name, by the way, is Shay Brown, the happy entrepreneur. Make it a great day, everyone, and I promise you we'll make some good things how we connect again next time. God bless, and I wish you success. See you soon. Well, it's a great day. My name is Shea Brown, the happy entrepreneur, and welcome back to the number one business development and revenue-focused late-night show in the country, The Happy Entrepreneur Show. And I'm here with the one and only Jessica Muse, because she's here because The Happy Entrepreneur Show has a mission, and that is to provide you with the resources you need in your business to execute the vision for the people you are called to serve. And now we're doing what's called a rapid-fire session. And I love that because it's... Huh? I feel like I need a drum roll or something. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> drum roll in the house. <laughs> By special request. <laughs> we got that drum roll for you. So with that being said, Jessica, um, you know, who's been, what's, who's, who's been a mentor for you along this journey? And what have you learned from that mentor? What's a lesson you learned from that, your mentor that you can share with us? Um, So my mentor, I would say, is not a business mentor. It's, let's say, a life mentor. It's my grandmother. Um, She is the most selfless person I've ever met, and she gives without expecting anything in return, and she's taken huge risks for the one she loves. Uh, Wow. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. And when you, you talked about striving, you talked about moving towards greatness. What does, when you hear the word greatness, what does it mean to you and what comes to mind to you? Greatness, well, there's, it depends on <laughs> the situation. There's greatness with monetary value and there's greatness with fulfillment. Um, personally, I like fulfillment. You can have money and you're empty. You don't feel loved, you feel alone, you're just not complete. So fulfillment has a big part of that. Yeah. So, so true. They might, they might be wondering right now, at least I'm wondering, what does Jessica do for fun? Like, when you're not out saving the world and got your Wonder Woman cape on and out running around saving newpreneurs, what does Jessica do for fun? Being I have teenage daughters, I pretty much just drive around and feed them. <laughs> they have busy social lives. <laughs> Other than that, I like, I'm always, you know, self-improvement, reading, and I love to travel. Ah, okay, okay. Where's where's one of the places you traveled to recently that you really enjoyed that you would like to share with us? Um, well, actually, next week I'm going to Nicaragua. Cool, cool. Um, St. Lucia is probably one of my favorites, though. Oh, really? What did you enjoy most about St. Lucia? Everything. The beach, the greenery. <laughs> Everything is so green and beautiful. Uh-huh. Oh, um, cool. I didn't like the smell of the sulfur. That was rough. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> well, I'm I'm just curious for the for the person that's, that's watching right now. I know we get to final thoughts in a minute, but for the for the person that's watching right now, it might, it might be wondering uh, what's one of the books that Jessica's read recently that might be on Audible that you read that you're like, you know what, this was a pretty cool book, uh, and here's something I remember from the book. Um, you know, what what pops in your mind right now? And you can't go to the good book. The good book is the good book, right? So any other book other than the good book. <laughs> okay. Um, so I would say, and it's probably the most popular one that everyone's going to say is Think and Grow Rich. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's actually a book written, I want to say in the 1930s, and it's still, I think, the number one business book. Everything, every concept still applies to modern day. And it's basically, failing's not an option. It's not an option, no matter what. And that's like the big takeaway. But no matter how many times you read the book, you'll get something different from it because you're in a different place in your life and your business. I like that. Failing is not an option. That is so powerful. Very, very, very powerful. You know, let's let's say that one one day we we look back on this, and um, you have two teenage daughters, and they decide to go dig through the logs of time, and they see this video, and there's Jessica, mom, giving a message to your teenage daughters. Um, what message do you want to give right now to your teenage daughters who might be watching? Um, they're. I mean, you can do anything you want in this world. 
Don't listen to what anyone says. Yeah. How true is that? You can. It's possible. If someone else has done it, what? So can I. Is that so true? With that being said, we come back. Um, the one and only Jessica Muse is going to give us her final thoughts and her final comments as we take it away on this episode. We're going to go over to Rob Howes. We're staying right here in the great East Coast, by the way. He's up in Laurel, Maryland, not too far from Bethesda, <laughs> not too far from Rockville, not too far from Washington, D.C. And Rob says, be present where you are. We'll be back. Hey, guys. All right. Me and Daddy are here. All right. I, um, I'm doing a video. I got a question. No, it's not a question. This is a video where I'm telling people something. I'm telling them that this today is their January 1st. Today is your January 1st, Happy Entrepreneur's Tribe, because today is the only day you got, because tomorrow's not promised and yesterday is gone. So the reason why today being your January 1st is significant because it keeps you from procrastination. Procrastination is the destroyer of dreams. Yeah, it's the destroyer. It's the killer of dreams. So take action. Be present where you're present. That's the real gift. Be present where you are present. That is the real gift. Today is your January 1st. Say, say today. Today. Say today is your January 1st. Today is January 1st. Say it loud. Today is January 1st. That's it. Don't forget it. Well, it's a great day. My name is Shay Brown, the happy entrepreneur and the host of the number one business development and revenue focused late night show in the country, the happy entrepreneur show. And I'm super excited because Jessica Muse has spent her time with us today. One of the things that Jessica knows is you can always make more money, but you can't always make more time. You can't make more time. But I'm so appreciative of you being here. Thank you for being on the Happy Entrepreneur Show. Thank you for sharing the message of the new preneur and what you're doing out there. That is so amazing. Uh, I want to give it to you to have your final comments, your thoughts to the entrepreneurs that are watching right now. These lights are going to go off <laughs> at some point, right? You're going to cut yours off. We got to get back to our lives. And what are your final thoughts as we get ready to close out this episode? Again, thank you so much. We appreciate you. You're amazing. You're awesome and you're doing so many good things in the world. I'm going to encourage you to continue to do it, continue to make a difference and keep on going no matter what, because today is your January 1st. And many of you watching right now, you're going to make that decision. It's the pivotal moment where you say, I'm going to get started and not give up. So today is your January 1st. Make that decision. Get started. It's going to happen. Over to you, Jessica, for your final thoughts. Thank you. Um, so we are all going to have failures but don't fail. You have to pick yourself up and keep going. Um, don't get caught up in seeing everyone else's successes because they don't post their failures. They don't post the 24 hours they pulled working um, or working two or three jobs to get their side gig up and going. So, <clears throat> sorry. So there's a lot that people don't show and don't give up. I mean, their failure is not an option. You just have to go full force and tweak and learn and change as much as possible but just keep moving keep moving thank you so much keep putting one foot in front of the other foot in front of the other foot in front of the other foot with that being said thank you all for joining what's up karen Ch cherry i see you out there charlene thanks for joining jacqueline taylor adams in the house every single one of you all the new viewers thank you so much and all of you who continue to come back and support the show we really really appreciate you we appreciate your comments we appreciate you sharing it. I want you to know that you're amazing. I want you to know that you're incredible. And I want you to know that the best is yet to come because today is your January 1st. You're going to get started in that relationship. The best is yet to come because today is your January 1st. You're going to do some new things in your business. Today is your January 1st because you made a decision. Any moment that you make a decision, it's that pivotal change, then it's a new start. It's a new beginning. It's a do or And I want you to know that I believe in you. With that being said, my name, by the way, is Shay Brown, the happy entrepreneur. Make it a great day, everyone. And I promise you from the bottom of my heart, we'll make some good things happen. We connect again next time. God bless. And I'll see you soon. Jessica, you were rocking out. Yeah. You were good. You made it. Isn't that incredible? <laughs> I told you, worst case scenario is the light to fall on you. And no, I'm joking. We'll be back, everyone. God bless. <laughs> Please go ahead and give a big standing check ovation check, 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 for check. the one and the only Shay Brown.
and I'm here right now in this moment with none other than the one and only Dr. Willie Jolly. What's up, my friend? It's a privilege and a pleasure and a treat and a treasure to be in your presence. All right, Delator, we're going to get started. You ready, Delator? I'm ready, friend. I'm you ready, Dr. Connect? Ready, you ready. Got, no, none other than Andy Harikas and... And we have someone like a Dr. Sonia, who's a bad sister. All right, now, go ahead with your bad self. None other than the Kim Warren Martin. promise I made to my mom. I only did this message for one person, and that's my mom. This is for you, mom. Love you. My name is Shay Brown, the happy entrepreneur. Make it a great day, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Shay Brown. My check, my check. All I do is we win, we win, no matter what. Got money on my mind, I can never get enough. And every time I step up in the building, everybody hands go up. Yes. Yeah. And they stay there. Thank you, thank you, Captain.